Hey everyone, you're listening to InfoQuench with Jeff and Amy, a podcast with tips to make your life easier, covering pop culture, parenting, travel, minimalism, and more. What's up everybody and welcome to the InfoQuench podcast. I am Jeff and I'm Amy and we are here with another riveting podcast. I, What is it about again? <laughs> Every one of our podcasts is riveting. What is it? It is... 18 tips for hotel stays. 18 That is our tips. topic of this podcast. We've never gotten 18 tips on any show, I don't think. Oh, because, we have. Really? Wow. We, have. Cause we can do it. It's completely doable. If I just don't you know, go off track, then we'll be fine. If I don't meander off in these mindless conversations, you know, things that I say, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. Picking up on that. I was picking up what you were laying down. Yeah. So... All right, so, okay, hotels. So everybody has stayed in a hotel, I think, most people. Well, in the yeah, in a past life. General area to, and stuff. I used to travel for work, and I stayed in hotels all the time, far more hotels than I ever would like to. And you do have favorites. Contrary to popular belief, traveling for work is not glamorous. No. It's a lot of hotels and rental cars and yes. work. The yeah, work it's, part is key. It's, it, it can be a lonely adventure. <laughs> Can it? You know what I mean? Like you're just in a hotel room. Yeah. All by I mean, Some people it's, enjoy it for it, me. It is yeah, nice to have your own, you know, your own space for a little while, you know, away from everything. There's always something glamorous about that because you can just like, you know, your hotel room is yours and then no one else. You don't have to worry about like, you know, things being on the floor or using up all the ice. Or you, like, you know, I'm going to you know. worry about those things regardless. <laughs> not, not if you're the only one in the room, <laughs> right? Tip number one. Oh, yes. Enjoy a free lunch. Ah, uh, yes, a free lunch. And we've or done breakfast. this before. Well, what you do is take advantage of the breakfast. A lot of hotels oh, yes. have a complimentary breakfast. We did this in New York. Yes. Yes. Yeah, exactly. We were uh, at a hotel in Queens. Right. and The Astoria. Or, no, wait, what was um, it called? Something like that. I can't remember. Verve. Verve. Uh, yeah, I don't that's even know right. if it, it still exists. It was actually not even Queens. I think it was like Long Island I don't think City. It, I don't think it is no? there any longer. Oh, okay. We looked it up a while back and it wasn't even there. It's just another do, another building. But anyway, well, one of our money saving tips is to take advantage of the continental breakfast. Even if you wake up and you're not all that hungry, it's great to be able to just grab some extra rolls, some pieces of bagels. fruit. Bagels. Uh, bagels. Like, you can get you know, sometimes granola bars, depending on what they have oh, for yeah. continental breakfast, and just you know, throw them in your bag, and you can do lunch later on, courtesy of the hotel. Throw that, throw that toast right in your pocket, <laughs> crumbs and all. And sometimes, well, sometimes packaging can be difficult. One of the uh, tips that I read, and I've, I've not tried this, but if you knew that the, the you know, how you often get a free shower cap. Yeah. I do. In, in, in and the you bathroom. get a lot of free stuff. So if you knew it was in a package that was not compromised so that the shower, shower cap was actually clean, yeah. so it was just a piece of plastic. Just Some people it. say use that and use it to wrap your bread in or whatever. Um, Weird. Grab some food and I've stuff it in that and that. then put it in your bag. Yeah, because a lot of times you're traveling and you don't really have anything to put food in. Right. Not a lot of people are traveling with Tupperware. Um, so rather than throw away tip. like plastic, you're throwing away plastic, which is your shower cap. <laughs> it's funny. You well, use it once and then chuck it. But well, sometimes I, those shower I've caps nev- have been in the bathroom for quite a long time. I don't I've know never if I trust heard them of that. Put my food in. Well, I've, no, I I've, just read it. It's and interesting. Doing research on the for this episode. Yeah, so definitely get a free meal with your breakfast. With no, your free breakfast. Number two is don't be afraid to ask for stuff at the oh, hotel. No, yeah. And I have a, a great example of this. I was traveling um, once and. There were a few coworkers. We were all in a room uh, at the end of the day and mm. just having a drink, um, as you sometimes do on work trips. And somebody had wine, and all they had were like the little plastic glasses in the, in oh, the room. Oh, yeah. So somebody just picked up the phone and called the reception and asked for some glass wine glasses to be sent up. And they, they were like, sure, no problem. They grabbed they a just, couple from the restaurant and, you know, no oh, charge. Oh, that's fantastic. So well, yeah, it shouldn't be a charge. Ask and you shall receive. No, you that, know? that's great. Don't be and afraid to, I mean, sometimes they'll advertise, you know, if you forgot your toothbrush or something like that, but even things like phone chargers, some hotels will let you borrow one if you've forgotten. So yeah. make the ask. Very related to the wine. If you forgot your corkscrew, I'm sure you could call down and just get a corkscrew. Yes, you know, I've actually done that, ra- I think. Rather than like actually buying one at the liquor store or something, you know. 
Right. Which, which I, we've which, also done. Which we have, we have done now, so I was going to say. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely ask. I mean, what are some other things that you could ask for? Like a toothbrush, I guess, right? I don't and, know. Yeah, like, just, uh, I don't know. That, yeah, a pound know. of gold. Yeah, can I have a, send up a pound of What's gold? What's the worst they can do? Just say no? I know. Where's my weed? Send up my weed. <laughs> send up the alcohol. <laughs> Number three, shut those curtains. Check your curtains at night and mm-hmm. make sure, because a lot of them are, you know, complete light blocking blackout curtains. But sometimes hotels are frustratingly, like they have these curtains that won't quite join up in the center. So you get that sliver of light in the yes, morning. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. So you can, one of the things that you can do, if you're lucky enough to be in a hotel that have coat hangers in the closet, and they have those little clips on them. Yes. If you know what I mean? To hang oh, up yes. pants or whatever. You can actually use those clips to clip your curtains shut. Have you done this? No, it's a tip I researched. and. Wow. I thought you might have done it. I've used other... I've had like uh, like banana clips or like hair clips in my bag. And mm. I've used that to hold curtains shut before. I don't often have clothespins in hotel rooms. So, yeah. But uh, I thought that was a neat idea because I do often see those types of clothes hangers in... Or sorry, coat hangers yeah. in the uh, hotel closets. So it's a great way to seal up those curtains and make sure you get a good night's right. It's rest. funny too because that blinding light that comes through the sliver in the curtains is usually the very first thing that you know just pierces your eyes in the morning. Right. You know, it's just perfectly. Well, and you aligned. don't even notice it at night when you're going to sleep, but you notice it in the morning. Oh, you notice it. And in the if morning, you're in a big, big city, you might also have just a lot of ambient city light mm-hmm. which can affect your sleep so yeah. seal up those curtains number four byop and the p in this is pillow bring your own pillow oh. uh, a lot of people swear by this i mean it takes up a lot of room in your luggage some people will take their pillow and just carry it straight on the plane i've seen a lot of uh, a lot of people on planes who bring their own pillow but there's it's also hard to get your head around sharing an actual pillow with millions of strangers, even with the pillow case, because we all have heard those studies of how many skin right. cells and bugs are in. We've never a done that though. We've never brought our own pillow. Well, we have to um, like reevaluate if we're dry, if that. We're, well, no, no. <laughs> I always bring it on like trips in the car. Well, that yes, on car trips we do. Yeah. It's a pain in the butt to do it on a plane. And if you're traveling to Europe and you're really tight on luggage space, you probably don't right. want to waste it on a pillow. Yeah, that makes sense. But if you're if you're driving somewhere to a hotel, it's pretty easy to throw your own pillow and have a really good night's sleep. Because a lot of times when you wake up with like a sore neck or you have an uncomfortable sleep, it's yeah. due to the pillow being Honestly, too small though, like, too big. Usually, like I'd say 90% of the time or maybe even, well, maybe a little less than that. But the pillows at the hotels are nicer than the one that I own. Actually, we've even bought a, a pillow at a hotel that we liked. That's true. We stayed at so, uh, a hotel in Fredericton. Fredericton, and we liked the pillow so much, we went to the front desk to ask so, if they sold them, and they and did. we did. We, and we still they use sold, them. They had a store that they sold their pillows out of, and mm-hmm. they were the best pillows we ever bought. We were on a quest for years for a good pillow, so when we, we knew. Still not the perfect pillow for me, though. It really isn't. No, you're like the princess in the pea when it comes to pillows. I am. Number... Five, uh, bring sanitizer wipes. So hotels, even the clean hotels, they're often little germy areas that get overlooked by cleaning staff. Mm-hmm. Things like light Corners. switches, um, doorknobs, yeah. remote controls. Tops of tables. Um, the phone handle. So yeah. if you take a sanitizer wipe, I know this sounds completely OCD. <laughs> I actually watched... Um, Lisa Rinna, if you're a reality TV show <coughs> fan, she's a real housewife of Beverly Hills. Yeah. And this is one of her practices. She's, she obviously she travels a lot her for life. her work. And she brings, that's the first thing she does when she checks into a hotel, uh, into the hotel room. She brings out a sanitizer wipe and just goes through those common services that the cleaning people probably are. It's funny because it hitting. is probably something that everyone should do, but I would guarantee, like, Again, 90% of the people don't do that. Yeah. They just go clocks. into, they don't want to worry about, you know, cleaning the room when they rented it. I know. I'm just going to, going to rent the room after Lisa Rinna. And then I know <laughs> at least it's mostly clean. Yeah. It's only a one person's germs <laughs> on it. If I could afford that room. Number six is to amplify the sound. So sometimes we're playing music on our phone or we want a little bit of music and there's not a great speaker in the room. So Mm -hmm. you can take your phone and stick it in like a glass or the ice bucket or something, you know, or a bowl. These days you don't really need to do that though. With these Bluetooth speakers, they sound amazing and they work perfectly. If you're traveling with that, but if you're traveling light and you just have your phone, this is yeah. 
Oh, that's hat. true. Yeah. yeah Way to true. crap all over that tip. I'm just saying, in this day and age, Where these Bluetooth tips, speakers, huh? boys, old oh boys, let me tell you, these Bluetooth speakers that they're making these days, they're they're just fantastic. They sound so good. Tell me more about these Bluetooth. Well, speakers. I just bought one actually, and uh, it it's a Bose speaker. And oh yeah, it is quite lovely. It. I told you. It's, it's even a nice color blue. It, it. I knew you'd like it, and I, I was. You know, it, it wasn't super cheap, but it was. It was on sale. Kind of. I just hate and, gadgets. Uh, I know, but that's a, that's a great one. It was a good one. Goodbye. Uh, number seven. This is a complete redneck move, but if you're having a bunch of people over and you're uh, having your own little hospitality suite going on in your hotel room, fill right. that bathtub up with ice oh, and yes. make one massive cooler. Yes. Make a big massive ice bucket. And there's, there's always some freak at the party, though, that gets naked and then just jumps into the ice. I mean, uh, not a, uh, what, part, what kind of parties, parties are you I've going been. to? You're not go, obviously or not the right ones. If you go out and murder Maybe someone, it was me. And no, it wasn't. To, and you want to put the body on ice. Yeah, you've got that's a bathtub true. full of ice. Yeah. It, it chills the body, yeah. so it cuts down on the smell, that's and so true. you can dispose of it properly. And you're talking about the room not being clean properly. <laughs> now we got dead bodies in the tub. <laughs> so fill that bathtub with ice, and then also add beer. Again, that's, that's another thing that people won't add the bother doing. To the... I'm not trying to shoot down all your ideas, but really though, oh, that's... I, really, I have been in multiple hotel rooms really? where the bathtub is filled with ice oh, for hospitality never... oh, suites. Okay. Well, maybe oh, then. Oh yeah, when okay. there's like when you're going to weddings and things like that, absolutely, yeah. people okay. do that. That's uh, a huge. That's a thing. Oh, I, I didn't know that's a thing. I'm obviously going redneck, to the wrong parties. Obviously, going to the wrong parties. You are. I I'm going to the wrong parties so much that I'm bringing my own pillow. Okay, so what's the next one? Number eight is bring your own HDMI cable. Oh, uh, that is a good one. Yeah, that, that's a so really good one. If you don't want to be paying for hotel movies, yeah. because those are really expensively priced, you could download a movie to your laptop and, and yeah. just plug it in, and so you can still watch it on the big screen. Or there was that one time when we brought the uh, the Android TV box with us and watched stuff with that. Remember that? No, I don't. Yeah, it didn't work, but... You know, because the <laughs> HDMI cable was broken. But oh, I do remember that attempt. We had it. Anyway, yeah. So. Number nine. Mm-hmm. Number nine. Use your do not Number disturb nine. sign. Number. Yeah, we use that all the time. But there's a, this is a, there's another when reason. We're, when we're getting the body out of the room. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. You get the carpet. That's yeah. what you need. <laughs> no, uh, you, well, use it when you don't want to be disturbed, obviously. I mean, think to put it on at nighttime before you go to sleep. Mm-hmm. So if you want to sleep in in the morning. Sleep is very important to us, as you can Well, like it, the, but the most another, important oh. thing for me is that... Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I know no, I cut no, you no, off. please go on. Well, you want to know what the f- most important thing I is to me. I absolutely do. It's just so that if you put the do not disturb thing on before you go to sleep, then they're not going to be knocking on the door wanting to clean the room the next day. That's what I just morning. said. Yeah, well, that's what I just said. I so, said it first, so but mine, I Okay, mine so I'm reiterating what you said then. Oh, thank you. Well, good job, though. You came up with it first. Thanks. Yeah. Good job. To so, you what, what else what were I you going to say about that? Um, also, yeah, this other thing that well, it was described as if you're staying in an inner city motel or hotel. Inner city. I know. Well, what is I, I mean, that? I, I guess we live in a city. Is that inner city? No. <laughs> but it's I think in what they the mean, city. if you're living, if you're staying in a place that might have a, a particularly high crime rate, yeah, then it's a good idea to put the "Do Not Disturb" sign on your door, even when you're out of your hotel room, because it'll make people think that there is somebody still in there, and they uh, may be less likely to burglarize your room. Wow, and that does happen. People do rip off, and and usually it's an inside understanding. I'm sure somebody at the hotel is like, "Okay, these people are gone. Come on in and take their stuff." You know, That's quite and they whisper it too because they don't want to get caught. <laughs> then they get into a room and there's a dead body in the tub. And they're I'm like, going to keep mess bringing with that joke people. back. Leave their passport and valuables <laughs> yes. behind. That's right. That's right. I've never done that. Have we? Have we done? Have I ever done that? Killed somebody? No, no. Left passports and stuff behind. Um, no, no. Well, not unless it's in a safe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And even that, sometimes they have like a, you know, a universal code to get into the safes. You know, you never know. All right. There's a lot of, we've been watching a new show and it's very murdery. So I apologize for all the murdery talk, but it's, it's, oh yeah, it's It's definitely simply in jest. That's what you're talking about? Yeah. Mind Hunter on Netflix. Netflix. It's pretty good. Actually, we're going to probably do uh, an episode where we talk about it a little bit more in depth with spoilers. Hopefully you still already watched it, but like, you know, you can't talk about a show that's like two seasons long without spoiling some of it. 
You can't. You can just if you if you want to have no spoilers, you just say, "Oh, it was it's, it's a it's a pretty good show." Yeah. So spoiler <laughs> alert: there's going to be spoilers. Yeah. When we when we talk about Mind Hunter, but anyway, it's a <laughs> but good yeah. Show. So that's hence all the murder talk. If I was really a murderer, I definitely wouldn't reference it no. as frequently as I do on podcasts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> number ten: fill your bag with all the freebies. Grab oh, yeah. those little bottles of shampoo and conditioner. Well, you don't want to grab it all. Well, but you grab the stuff you're going to use. Don't yeah. be wasteful. But yeah, I find that if, if you're shampoo. going camping, there's certain places that you might stay later on that they don't have those types of things. Yeah. Or you can just use them in your shower. Have millions of little bottles of shampoo. That's true. Yeah. Or you can use them all up right away and then get some more. Yeah, the Con Murray and me, the, <laughs> the empty cluttering, just just like flinching a little bit at that idea. But no, take things that you know. Take you are paying of, for it. Yes. Let's, and, let's always put that in perspective. It's not it's not someone else's. Someone else does not own that shampoo. They just reuse it if you don't. That's right. Yeah. Unless they like peed in it and then put it back on the shelf. Yeah. I think which, that happens sometimes. Yeah, which I've done. Or I mean, that's probably <laughs> happened. I'm just joking. <laughs> Um, number 11, use the safe. We kind of referenced this earlier, but if there's yeah. a safe in the room, use it. Even we'll use if it there is a time. universal code that the yeah. hotel staff are using to steal things, yeah. it's still better than leaving it on your nightstand. It's true. Make it challenging for the thieves. Yeah. Um, number 12, if you're having a special occasion while you're staying in the hotel, let them know. Yeah. They might surprise you that. with something lovely. We did that and they gave us what, some chocolates and flowers or something like yeah, that? Yeah, I can't remember. For our anniversary. So if you're having an anniversary, if you're celebrating a birthday, just, you can just mention it casually yeah. and you'd be surprised because sometimes they'll do that. And well, they want to, they want to make their, you know, their customers happy. And they want you to Instagram that stuff and then talk mm. about how amazing their hotel is. Exactly. But that's okay. You and they want you that. to talk about it on podcasts like this, like InfoQuench. Exactly. The best podcast in the world, 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 world. Number 13 is plan for the pool. If there is a pool. But if there is a pool, plan for it. Plan for it. You know what that means? Shorts. Shorts. I know. You have it so easy. <laughs> Swimming shorts. Women. women Not those shorts, cargo But also pants. plan for like the walk from the hotel room down to the pool because if you're yeah. like traveling and you've got sneakers on you're not going to want to put those puppies on to walk and don't and please don't walk barefoot and in don't a hotel wear flippers hall you can wear slippers but not flippers carpet yeah so bring some flip-flops because flip-flops not flippers yeah i knew where you were going if you wore flippers into the pool that would be pretty funny <laughs> that would be great and you walk the whole way down from your room in flippers backwards it would be classic yeah security yeah. would be called yeah definitely uh, number 14 is don't stay on the ground floor. I've said this in other episodes. We did an episode on, yes. I think called maybe all inclusive resorts and there's various reasons and an all inclusive resorts, like uh, worrying about bugs and that sort of thing. But a hotel is multiple stories. So there's no reason why you should have to stay on the ground floor no. unless you're like the last person getting the last room. And in honest, in all honesty, they probably try to get rid of the the rooms on the ground floor so that they, because you know, they know people don't want to be there. So they probably get rid of it. As, like mm -hmm. if you call to get a hotel room and you're all inclusive, they're going to offer you the ground floor first, wouldn't you say? Well, maybe yeah, if you don't probably have, if it's you don't the least have a preference, desirable, unless they're looking, you know. Uh, to, you want to save it for people who need the accessibility of it. Maybe That's people true. who can't do stairs. Yeah. And the reason I say avoid the ground floor in a hotel is the same reason I say avoid it in all inclusive resorts or anywhere else you stay is that it's just a risk for break-ins. You're at ground level and yeah. uh, people can slide open doors or windows a lot easier. And, and the I, ants with the switchblades can get in too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. And one of the tips that I read was that you should, Target floors three to six. Yeah, three to six. Do you know why? Six. Can you guess why floors three to six? Uh, yeah, I, I have. Take a, a, I have a. You're I have a general idea. I think that it would probably be the nicest view. Does that have anything to do well, with no, it? No, but I guess that's a good reason, particularly yeah. if you're in a city. But well, it, if you, you have like an ocean want, view or Well, you'd actually something. want the top floor in a hotel, I guess, if you wanted the nicest yeah. view. But the reason they say three to six is if there is a fire, those floors could still be reached with a ladder. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, Which that is, makes sense. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty specific, right? Yeah. Can yeah, I, it do is. Do you have any rooms available Plus, for the cheapest rate? On yeah. floors three to six, <laughs> near the pool, <laughs> with no dead bodies in the bathtub. And how long is your ladder? 
<laughs> Can you imagine? What is the standard ladder uh, height for the fire department in your area? Could you provide that? Another thing, too, though, is another really great thing about having the top floor is you don't have nobody, you don't have anybody walking above you. Oh, I know. You hate those footsteps above you. Well, yeah, especially when you got like, you know, heavy footed toddlers and stuff, you know, it's 10 of them. Yes. Are, that's what it sounds like. Yes. You know, a bunch of elephants. So, uh, yeah, uh, whatever, though. Just get whatever room you want in the end, you know? Yeah, but just don't burn in the fire. Yeah, and, and yeah. And, Pay attention to the ladder. But, you know, sometimes, and sometimes those windows don't even open. But just glance around your room. This is another bonus tip. If your windows don't open, yeah. look to see what can be thrown. Make sure there's a chair or something that you could, if you needed to break a window open. Yeah, that's true. Kind of do that stuff before your room is filled with smoke. Always scope out your environment. Know what's know what's going down before the stuff actually goes down. You know what's funny? You brought up the coat hanger and the uh, curtain trick uh, earlier in the podcast. Well, it's also pretty good for just like, you know, if you don't have anywhere. We've been in places before where there's literally nowhere to to hang your your like your oh, wet oh yeah your wet towels your and wet things. towels yep. and stuff like that so you can always make shift something we always somehow oh yeah make we've hung coat hangers something. off of lampshades yeah yeah or yeah. off of uh so like you know the patio doors if they have them. and we've gone into into rooms before where people have made make makeshift like clotheslines where yes. we just we just utilize them too you know anyway um. What yeah, our, our room sounds like it must look like a disaster. Yeah, I know. <laughs> just hang coat hangers off of everything. <laughs> and there's dead push bodies the, in the, the tub. Push the body out of the way and get to business. Okay, number 15 <laughs> is uh, business cards. Grab a couple of hotel business cards when you are checking in. And yes. there's a few reasons for this. Um, keep one by the phone in your hotel room. And if there are ever if there were ever to be an emergency and you need to call nine one one, you have the address uh, of the hotel very easily yeah, that's true. Uh, referenced by just looking at the business card. Yeah, um, I mean you can always call re- hotel reception, but that's just one extra step. So yeah, uh, you know particularly if you're in a place with a lot of hotels, the street address could come in handy in an emergency. The other thing you can do with the business card is just keep one on you. So if you're out and about particularly if you're in a place where maybe um, you don't speak the language. So you may be taking mm-hmm. a cab or uh, something back and, and you need directions or, or something. You're able to show somebody the business card and then they will be able yep. to uh, know exactly where you're going. Make sure you're showing somebody who you trust. Like a cab well, that, no, you're absolutely like that. right. That is very important because like... Um, there could be twenty, you yeah. know, holiday inns in you that could, city. You could be like, you could be at a at a hotel for a very short amount of time, not really pay attention to your room number, which I've never done in my entire life. Actually, I have. And then you, you know, you go to a concert, let's just say, and you get obliterated on, you know, alcohol and stuff, and you forget the name of your hotel and the room you're in. Well, you get it written on the back of this business card. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and another thing, <laughs> and. <laughs> And I don't even let me get you. St- don't even get me started with what was in the tub. I mean, um, but no, like, and and another thing, I just are wanted you to add reminiscing this. about a recent fish concert? I just, yeah, I just wanted to. I, I just wanted to add this too, though. Uh, on your way out, you can leave your own business card. You never know where it's going to end up. Even if the cleaner listens to your podcast, it's okay. Yes, Jeff's yeah. been really good at promoting the podcast lately with these little cute little business card minis we got done they're like half the size of a regular business card yeah we were actually out to dinner the other night and i saw you left one on the on the tray where you paid the bill well that was the tip yeah the the podcast no i'm just joking i I actually tipped don't that would be yeah they would just throw it right in the garbage i did just give the tip though that's Uh, and so (laughs) can never make a tip joke Uh, just a tip joke Uh, okay number 16 use your deadbolt for god's sakes use that deadbolt lock every lock that you can lock in your hotel room. Way to peek out the uh, volume on the podcast just oh, there. Jeff just said I was way too loud there. I um, hope I wasn't. But you know, you're right. Use the deadbolt. Use the deadbolt all the time because you never know what kind of crazy person is trying to get into your hotel room. That's right. Don't trust like the people who just close their door and don't put any lo- additional locks on. I don't know. I really don't know what you're thinking. You're just living on the edge. You just, right. you're asking for death. And always get two not one but always get two keys yes yeah 
And don't put those keys by anything magnetized. No, we've done, we made that mistake before too. Yeah, lots of times. And then you times. have to go down to the Stairs. main place. And, get and you know the what's frightening is how to... easily they'll give you another card. Oh, what room yeah. are you in? Yeah, oh, you were in room 302? Yeah. Here's your new card. When it's you're like, like, I'm in 316. <laughs> I'm stealing all the stuff out of their safe. <laughs> oh, wait, there's a dead body. No, no, you, yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. But it is, I, sometimes I'm really appalled at how little security is in place for issuing new replacement yeah. hotel room key. Yeah. Now, I've gone to places before where I've forgotten the room key in the room and then the, clo- the door closed <clears throat> behind me. And so the staff actually walked up with me and then I had to show them ID. When oh, I that's went to the great. Room. Um, I don't think all hotels do that. So that was that. impressive. Yes. Yeah. No, not all of them do, but they should. There's hardly any hotel these days that doesn't have those like cards now. Like there, no one has just keys any longer, really. Well, and when we stayed in Jamaica, they had cards that you could actually, the, the most recent oh, stay. Yeah. You just put them. You wore it on your wrist yeah. all week long and yeah. you just had to put it close to the room yeah. Like just, you know, hold it, it up to open. the door. Yeah, and it that would was open. pretty cool. And I'm thinking to myself, that's high tech stuff. How can stuff. other hotels, you can't even put it in your purse near like 100 feet of a magnet? Yeah. Like, and you have I know. to get a new card. Yet they've perfected the technology that you can wear it I in agree. a chlorinated pool and the ocean for an entire week. Yeah, and, and it doesn't even fall off your wrist. I know. Uh, it's pretty incredible. Right away, I and pictured someone too. cutting my arm off and then using my arm oh, to gosh. open up our door. You and your anxiety. That's just crazy. It's crazy It's not talk. anxiety. It's just planning it's, it's ahead. It's reality. Planning ahead. That's true. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, yeah. Use your deadbolt. Use it. Number 17, keep a light near your bed. Um, there usually is one, though. Well, there's a lamp. But it's a good idea that in case of like a power outage or something, you have a mobile light. Your so phone. Most people have a phone with yeah. a flashlight on it. So keep it in arm's reach because oh, yeah. I have been in hotels with power outages and it goes incredibly black. They should have security lights uh, working in their hallway and their main exit to their main exits. But not, you know, don't don't rely on things that may not always be functioning. So have your own source of light. Because if you're in a strange hotel and it's pitch black and you need to get out of the building, you want to have uh, a way to do it. So keep your phone in arm's reach so that you can flip on that flashlight and get out and make sure your phone's charged. Yes. Well, that's a great idea. I mean, you you know, and when there is darkness, you need light. <laughs> that was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, you, you. You are my light. The moral the- of the story is, though, if you have somebody chilling on ice in your tub, you're doing everything right. There you go. Yeah. And last but not least, number 18, don't mm. use the mugs in the room. Why? Well, unless you're going to use them to amplify your music. Well, what if you clean them? I recently saw a special on... Oh. On the, they what showed, was in those mugs? Well, what they... <laughs> 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 I don't know what was in those mugs, but I did watch the secret camera, hidden camera footage of the cleaner using a cloth to wipe off you know, the rim of the toilet and then use it on the countertop in the washroom and then, and use, then it use it to just on the mugs. Mug, just wipe it out. Right? Not on the mugs. Well, think about it. Like if they didn't want to, they don't want uh, to pack up the mugs, take them all the way down to their kitchen, have them washed there and then bring up new clean mugs. So if there's just a little bit of coffee or a little bit of lipstick, they just use their uh, rag and they would just wipe it out. I know. That's disconcerting. It is. How many, I'm just I'm just having flashbacks of how many times I've just taken great big gulps of water out of those mugs and stuff or whatever. So use, this is the time, the only time I would promote using plastic, I guess, aside from when I talked about using a no, shower no. cap. No, no. Here's what you do. You, you well, call down and you get wine glasses. We've already <laughs> been through go. this. You do that. <laughs> Hope that they're fresh. But there's often a, a set of glasses in a room that are sealed in pl- plastic. Yeah. So you know that they're clean. There's usually and like, you know, little, like, you know, rum and Coke tumbler things, you know? Yeah. They're just, well, yeah, they're flimsy and they're Short plastic, glasses. but at least they're clean. Don't use the, don't use the mugs. Don't if they're use open the mugs. and they're just, you know, they're just sitting upside down beside that coffee maker that's also never been clean in that's a right. dog's age. Um, and it's probably full of mold and everything else. Just, yes. Yeah. Don't use the mugs. Keep putting that ice in the tub too. Thanks for listening, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you don't have like PTSD next time you visit a no. hotel because of our horrific stories. Because hotel studies are great. Yes. We love them. 
And check out Mindhunter too because we don't want to spoil it for you. So you might as well watch it so we can just like spoil it together while we listen while you listen to us talk about it. Yes. Thanks for listening, well everybody. Said, honey. Thank you. All right. Love you. <laughs> bye <Bye-bye>. bye. <laughs> bye bye. Thanks for listening. Be sure to visit InfoQuench.com to subscribe and catch up on past episodes. You can also check out InfoQuench on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Till next time. time.